In this video lesson, we're going to have a look at scenarios. Scenarios are another one of Excel's ways of producing a solution to a what if question. These can be built on any kind of calculation. I've just created a financial calculation here that's looking at an investment return. Basically what we have is we know the bank is going to give us an investment return of 6% of our money. We're going to make 10 equal payments over 10 months. We're going to pay £200 for each one of those 10 months. And we're going to make an initial investment of £500. The function I am going to use for this is the FV function that you can see in the formula bar. Now, if you don't know what this is, it doesn't matter. The scenario can be created on any kind of calculation. And if you want to know more about the financial functions, then have a look at my videos about them. So really what this function is returning is the amount of money I will have after 10 months of investing £200 with a 6% return. Of course, the beauty of a spreadsheet is we can make changes. If I want to see my return over 20 months, I can change the value of the months or the number of investments. So as I press the Enter key, you can see the return value has been increased. What happens if I go to a different bank who's only going to give me 5% interest? I can make that change, press the Enter key, and there is my result. That is the real power of a spreadsheet, asking those what-if questions, but it's also the downfall, because we can't remember what was that value for 10 months. I can't remember what that was, so I would have to go back and feed in 10 again to find out the answer. What a scenario will do is allow us to build up a table of these results by changing the values. We use the Data tab. And on the Data tab, we use the Data Tools section and then the What If Analysis drop-down menu. From there, we can select the Scenario Manager. And this is our Scenario Manager dialog box. There's nothing in here at the moment. We need to add a scenario. So we click the Add button and give the scenario a name. I always like to start with a starting level, just so that we know, because when we make these changes, that these uh, values in the spreadsheet are actually going to change. So I always like a starting one, so I'll remember where we were at the beginning. So I've given my name. The next bit is changing cells, and it asks us which cell we want to change in the calculation. Now you can have lots of different cells. Um, change lots of different cells at the same time, but I want to keep it nice and simple. I'm only going to change the value of one cell, and the cell I'm going to change is the number of payments, A2. So if I click on A2, it puts the A2 in the changing cells area. We can type in comments if we wish. Click on OK, and the next dialog box asks us to enter the new value that we want to put in that cell A2. It's already picked up the starting value of 10. Now remember, this is my starting level, so I'm going to keep it at 10. I then click OK. There's my first scenario, the starting level with a number of payments of 10. Let's go ahead and add some more. Click Add. Give it a name. I'm going to call this one 20 payments. Again, I'm going to change cell A2. OK. This time I'm going to make 20 payments. So I'm changing the value in cell A2 to 20. I then click OK. There's my 20 payments scenario. Let's build another one. Add. Let's call this one 30 payments. Again, I'm going to change cell A2. It doesn't, doesn't have to. We can change it as we go along. Click OK. Change A2 to 30. And then OK. So you can see now we've got three different...
different scenarios built up. And we can start to use these now to see what the result would be. For example, if I want to see what my future value of my investment would be for 20 payments rather than 10, I can simply select 20 payments and then click Show. It substitutes those figures that we built into the scenario into the actual spreadsheet. You can see there the figure in A2 is now 20 and that will give me a, re a return of £4,705. Let's have a look at the 30. Select 30, click on show and it's changed the value. £6,900 now. Back to our starting level, select it, click on show and that's only going to give me 2500 return. If I close that dialog box you can see that the scenarios are always there. They stay with the spreadsheet when you save. So that if I use data tools, what if analysis, scenario manager again, it shows me the scenarios are still there. You can go into each one of these scenarios and edit it, or you can delete them. A really useful feature though is to create a report based on these um, scenarios. And for that we use the summary button. We click Summary, and it says, do we want to create a summary report or a pivot table? I'm going to choose Summary Report. You can have a play with pivot table, see what happens there. So a summary report, and it says, where is the result cell? Now, it usually picks it up correctly, A5. That's where the answer is going. So we've got to make sure this result cell is where the an actual answer is. We then click on OK. And you can see what has happened, it's created a new worksheet called Scenario Summary. Or it will append a number if you've already got more than one Scenario Summary. And there it's just summarising the results. It's saying by changing cell A2, we're starting with 10, that's our return. If we change it to 20 payments, that's our return. If we change it to 30 payments, that's our return. That's a report that can be produced from the scenarios. So briefly, again, a scenario is a way of building up a table of solutions to your what-if questions. We use data, data tables, what-if analysis, scenario manager. We can add, delete and edit the scenarios here. And we can use summary to create a report a table, if you will, of those results.